Hey there, Touchboards Nation. It's Anthony here. I've got my Google Jamboard behind me, and I'm going to give you a quick rundown of how to use it and, and what it actually does. So right here, we have our Jamboard. It says hello. Uh, first, I'm going to clear that out of there, and we're going to start fresh. So new jam. Now, there's many different ways you can connect. The most common and easiest, in my opinion, is to use a tablet. iPad, Android, doesn't matter. You're going to use the Jamboard app. Now, first thing you have to do, the Jamboard is basically set up on your domain, and we have to add an owner to every jam that we start with. So to do so, we just go in here, add an owner. I'm just going to do this real quick. All right, so now that we have an owner assigned to it, we can add collaborators. And over here, we can add people. We can also broadcast it out and add people that way. Uh, but like I said, the best way to do it, in my opinion, is to add a collaborator who's using a tablet. And I'm just going to enter an email address for the app in my iPad here. All right, so now I have my tablet connected to the Jamboard. And what's happening up here is this is really just the workspace we're working in. I can't actually save to the Jamboard or pull information from the Jamboard. I'm saving to the tablet and I can pull information from my Google Drive using this tablet or a, or a connected smartphone. Uh, but basically, we're going to see we have our Jam up here on both devices. It even tells me that the tablet has joined, so we have it connected. And there's two ways you can go about writing. Now, I have it set to write with the pen and erase with finger but you can also write with your finger and erase with the eraser. So personal preference, do whatever you like. Uh, but just to show you how this works, I'm just going to draw here and you'll see on the iPad, after I'm done drawing, all that shows up on the iPad. Now, conversely, I can come on the iPad and select a different line in a different color so you can tell them apart. And I can draw right on here and that's going to show up on the Jamboard itself. So you have this collaboration, this back and forth. So whether you're, you have multiple people in the same room working on the Jamboard that it's then going to save to their iPad, or you have people not in the same location. I can be writing on the board itself. You can be half a world away on your tablet, and you can contribute to this Jam from wherever you are. You're going to see what I write, I can see what you write, and so on. What's great about the Jamboard is you're not just limited to writing. You have web browsers in here. You can drop little pictures that Google set up in here for you. You can even do image searches. Uh, for example, the word I. So I want to use this in my Jam. I just drop it over there. And if I change the page on my tablet, you see it there on my tablet. Now, I don't like this picture, for example. I'm going to exit out right there and it X's it out up on the board itself. So that's just a quick rundown of what it's actually doing. You know, I can draw up here and see it here and vice versa. As I mentioned uh, in another video, if you have a smartphone, you can view what's happening. You can access your Google Drive through that. And if you're using it with a laptop or desktop computer, you'll be able to see everything that's happening up here, but not actually contribute, at least not yet. Uh, but I did mention Google Drive, and from the iPad, I have a Google Drive icon. You don't have it on the board itself. It's down here. But I can then access anything in that Google Drive, uh, pictures, files, and so on. So I just added this picture to it. And now that that's up here on the Jamboard, it's another object in the Jam that I can manipulate. I can move it around, blow it up, shrink it, duplicate it, delete it, whatever you want to do. Unfortunately, it's not a great picture, so it doesn't look very good on the screen. But what are you going to do? <laughs> um, so again, that's a quick rundown of the Jamboard's basic functions. In addition to all that, you can do Google Hangouts. So I can have a video call between the tablet and the Jamboard. There's a camera and a microphone in here. So for those people in remote locations, you can do video calling. You can even incorporate your Jam into that. And you have the web browser, you have the Google image search, so you can pull stuff from the internet. I'm going to show you that a little bit more in another video.
Lastly, the other cool thing you can do with this is just display video on it. There's an HDMI port on there, so if you want to use it as a regular LCD screen and display video from another source, you can. You can also cast to this device. It's like that there's a Google Chromecast built in, so I can take smartphones, laptops, whatever I've got, cast directly up here and display video uh, right on the Jamboard. It won't actually save to the, any of the connected tablets. You can't annotate on it. It's not part of the Jam, but you're using it as an LCD screen at that point. So just another little bit of functionality for you. So definitely check out my next video where I'm going to go a little more in-depth as to what all these little tools are so you can get an idea of what you have to play around with in these jam sessions.